Is it Isaac? Hello? Yes, it is. How you doing? I'm very well, Matt. I'm a huge fan of the show. I'm, I'm Indian. Um, I'm originally from Kerala. That's the South Indian state. Um, I, I'm calling from London uh, this oh. evening. Oh, well, sweet. <laughs> we're getting nothing but out-of-town you... calls, but I'm, I'm really happy to have London. <laughs> so go ahead. Yeah, um, just, uh, this is just something that I um, wanted your opinion on. I'm not entirely sure um, if it's true or not. Um, it's got to do with how the sort of fundy right in the U.S. sells this image of a degenerate secular Europe, especially the Scandinavian countries, um, which, I mean, this, this, is, this, this is information I get from uh, my cousins who've lived in the U.S. for a while. Mm -hmm. But how it's commonly sold to sort of church-going crowds that um, if you look at societies which have openly um, become secular, uh, ch separation of church and state, um, predominantly atheist, um, <laughs> where there's gay rights and all the rest of it, legal euthanasia. I mean, all these societies have gone down the drain and how um, <laughs> it's all on decline. Um, is that, I mean... Um, I don't know how far that's true and whether the media is sort of helping to sell this to the American public by actually not opening up people to the whole idea that, you know, there's a world outside the United States and it's not all hell as it's sold. Yeah, um, I think the, the, the basic problem with Europe, according to the fundies, is that you guys are having way too much sex. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I wish. <laughs> So, so that's, uh, that's one of the, the issues, you know, the fundies, they, they want everybody to wait until marriage. And so yep. the fact that, you know, countries like the Netherlands, for example, have very explicit sex education and uh, ready availability of birth control, that's seen as contributing to the moral decline of, of young people. Um, some of us think that it's just contributing to the moral or to the, uh, the decline of teenage pregnancy, which is a good okay. thing. Now, uh, one of the interesting things is that uh, the fundies actually do promote this whole rise of liberalism as being one of the things that's causing societal decay. Mm -hmm. But if you look at some of the indicators of, um, I guess, societal health, uh, teenage pregnancy being one of them, yeah. uh, we've got a, a situation in Texas which has one of the highest, mm -hmm. if not the highest, uh, rate of teen births uh, in the Absolutely. U.S. Absolutely. I mean... This, this is what I was going to get, uh, get to, and that was my next point, because I work in medicine, and a colleague of mine is a, is a consultant in sexual health and HIV, and he, he, he did come to New York to attend an international symposium, and he came back absolutely gobsmacked, because um, for all its claims of abstinence-only <laughs> education and all the rest of it, and how they're selling it as this uh, panacea from all evil ills, so to speak, uh, America has some shocking statistics. Yeah. I mean, all these countries where sex education is, is thought as it should be have far lower incidence of sexually transmitted diseases, uh, HIV, teenage pregnancies, abortions, all the rest of it. So it's, uh, it, it's yeah. an interesting thing. Yes, abstinence is an abject failure. And the thing is, they, when these, these things are pointed out to uh, the fundies and the people that promote abstinence only, what they do is they say, oh, but the people who got pregnant, they weren't practicing abstinence, so they don't <laughs> yeah. oh, So you know I'm framing if, the if, data. If your parents didn't have children, the odds are you won't either. <laughs> <laughs> now, to to kind of hit the point that you were talking about, about how, um, how these are, things are represented, uh, it's a little difficult to say because you, you, you have, a, 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 I guess, the extreme fundamentalist voice is perhaps a, a bigger minority than, or a smaller minority than some people would recognize because they're so darn loud. And what mm -hmm. they end up doing, um, it's not so much um, the media, it's when the media doesn't agree with them, then that's the media that has the liberal media bias. Does agree. Liberal the media that's um, sort of uh, branded, uh, <laughs> I'm not going there because it's not a political <laughs> show. Yeah. What, what doing is anybody who doesn't agree with them, that's the liberal media bias. Anybody who does, um, that's the, and I, I hate to do this, but fair and balanced thing, and I'm not necessarily hammering Fox. And the fact of the matter is, is that you're going to find uh, liberals and conservatives in almost all the different media outlets at some point. Yep. Or another. Yes, some stations are going to be more leaning one way than the other, um, and maybe that's to try and find a balance with the other. Um, so, yeah, the, 
there is this projection that liberalism leads to all these problems. The, the problems that we're seeing in the United States have happened because of, uh, you know, gay rights, um, you know, the, the wild and crazy 70s, because evidently disco kills. Um, uh, the, and in fact, what we find, which, which you pointed out, was in some cases where we actually have data and information, it completely contradicts this. The Journal of Relig Religious Studies did a, uh, an, a survey, or actually an investigation into, into the real data behind it. It's published online. We've been referring to this one study over and over again since it came out in, I think, 2005. Um, yep. it's, it compares societal health to religiosity. And mm -hmm. it's completely clear. Now, they, they make no claim of causation, and I would never do that either. But those who would say that a society is more healthy the, yeah. as it becomes more religious or more Christian or whatever, they are clearly demonstrated to be wrong by this study. That claim is refuted. And, you know, highly atheistic countries like Japan um, yeah. or uh, Sweden and some others have lower crime rates, lower violence Absolutely. rates, lower instances of teen pregnancy, lower suicide rates, lower transmission of sexually, sexually transmitted diseases. And yet you go in the United States, even within our own, our own country, which it, it's, it's almost unfair to compare one part of it to another because they're, some of the states are so different in how they do things. In the areas mm -hmm. where they've implemented abstinence-only education, we yeah. have the data back. It doesn't work. We should have yeah. realized that kids are pretty much the same as they've always been. They're Absolutely. little balls of hormones that want to get them <laughs> on. Yeah. And yeah. the abstinence-only education, yes, abstinence works. But teaching them that as the only way is irresponsible. And I think it should, it should be damn near criminal based on the results. You have the highest rates of teenage pregnancy, the highest rates of sexually transmitted diseases in those yeah. areas. Um, and now, uh, you know, hopefully we can start moving towards a 21st century education in, in the health area as well as in the, the natural sciences. I sincerely hope so. I mean, talking about abstinence only, we had a recently a very, uh, on, uh, this is looking at it from a light side, we had the Jonas Brothers, who are apparently big in the United States, who um, sort of came over to England and were in London They're promoting the show me. and all the rest of it. And the whole purity ring, chastity ring thing yes. uh, yeah. came up in the media. And seriously, I mean, most of the people in England were looking at them as though they were space aliens or something. <laughs> it, and, and they came on to talk shows here and were sort of talking about how um, this is a good thing. And you could just see the look on the host's face. It, it was incredible. I mean, um, you might, they might as well have been from another planet, really. That's the, the, the purity ring thing has been has been popular here uh, for a number of years. It's, it's it may actually be more popular among evangelicals than the idea of abstinence only education. It's it's yeah. it's kind of this. It's almost like a chastity belt for uh, th that's completely ineffective. And there was oh, wow. a big there was a big joke about the teenagers were finding a way around their promise. <laughs> and, and I won't tell you Absolutely. how, but they're, they're, uh, it was called the everything but plan. <laughs> and, and You're I, I absolutely don't, yeah. right. I have some Emphasis statistics on that. on that, but I shan't air that on a public access television show because it's, it's too Oh, I could say it. I just don't want to. That's their first day at the new <laughs> week, so I don't want to tell everybody um, that they were doing anal sex. But. Oh, <laughs> did I say that? Thanks a lot for calling, Isaac. We appreciate it. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.